<sighs> down, down, down. Ah, <sighs> so I don't know if anybody actually uh, cared about that uh, challenge of mine to see if uh, hair that is a uh, and there goes uh, my CK2. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know if anybody actually cared about my little personal challenge to see if, uh, what was it, my, uh, my 1B, uh, <laughs> my 1B medium, uh, numeral 3 hair will indeed dread on its own, just left to its own devices, but this, uh, this last couple days, oh god, uh, one of my, uh, one of my medications is, uh, it's, it's got this crazy status right now, uh, it's the, uh, the ADHD meds, and, um, uh, basically, Medicare wants us to do all kinds of crazy stuff and nonsense to make sure that I really do need it and all of that. So, uh, just like yesterday I was, and by yesterday I mean Wednesday, because I was at game night, um, for a Thursday night, but, uh, yeah, I, uh, uh, Wednesday night, I just combed out my hair, and as you can see, it is nowhere near, I don't know, maybe this, but I just decided to give up on that project just because, um, so yeah, I have a little bit of a history with self-harm, and see, the funny thing is, is that I was a teenager in the 90s, and that was... Uh, around a time that, you know, cutters were making the news in the parenting and, uh, teen-oriented magazines, and so, uh, when I first started seeing news articles about that, I figured, okay, I should hide this habit somehow from my father and my stepmother, so that's when I um, started cutting my hair. Like, I didn't have a haircut at all until I was... Oh, God, my hair had not been cut until I was about 13, and the only reason I got it cut at 13 is because I started doing it myself. My hair was... It used to come... Oh, God, I'm I, am I short? <laughs> I am, I am. So, it used to come, like, down to the small of my back, and... Granted, I was still, uh, let's see, I don't remember how tall I was exactly at 12, but I know I was, um, 4 foot 8 and a half at 16, just under 4'9 by 17, and then, like I said, I was, like, 4'11 when I was 19, so, um... But, uh, I want to say about five years ago, I stopped cutting my hair, just all together. Uh, I made a promise, uh, personal and spiritual. And see, here's the funny thing is, like, after I stopped cutting my hair, and then, like, shortly after, like, a couple years after, I stopped bleaching it. And <laughs> I stopped bleaching my hair, and suddenly I get all of this breakage, and... Um, and it's still recovering. Uh, yeah, I'm still dying it. I have not seen my natural hair color since I was 15. <laughs> I, I literally have not seen my natural hair color since I was 15, and I am going to be 39 in July, so that is... Well over half my life. That's 24 years. I have not seen my natural hair color almost as long as I've been a goth. So, um, but yeah, so then what happens is I, um, uh, 
so I, uh, I stopped cutting my hair about five years ago. It's kind of a spiritual promise. I, you know, uh, it was a, uh, a dedicative act that I made to my gods. And even though those gods have changed a bit in the last couple of years, I have kept this promise uh, and moved it over to the new gods as well. So, long story. So basically, I am not allowed to cut my hair. I mean, technically, I could, but as you know, a uh, a promise to my beautiful androgynous gods. I do not cut my hair. And then what happens is, so with, uh, with cutting my hair taken off the table, and I know hair cutting does not seem like self-harm to people, but like I said, I have not, I did not have a haircut until I was 13 years old. That is pretty much my entire life at that point. Like, you know, I was always the kid with the long hair and... And then what happens is, uh, I, um, <sighs> you know, so at that point, so much of your identity becomes wrapped up in your hair when, you know, so the fact that I was cutting something that had been come to identify me with, it did feel like taking a part of myself away. And so, that is a big reason I stopped cutting my hair, because, you know, and that's where that promise comes from, because I want to be more myself, and myself includes having long hair. Like, at some point, one of my exes even, uh, like, I didn't even tell him about that, but he noticed that, like, every time I would have... You know, like, I, every time I would be under high stress, I would either go get my hair cut or I would start cutting it myself. And, <laughs> like, if I was in a high stress period, I would just suddenly change my haircut and it would get shorter. And, <sighs> and that ex and I are still friends to this day uh, because... You know, when you've got, when you've lived together about 10 years, uh, we're together off and on for about five and had three cats together. You know, uh, if you're not still friends after you break up, it's because one or both of you screwed up royally, right? <laughs> but then what happens is, um, so yeah, like, even though I, uh, I kind of, made a bit of a promise to do this project just to, you know, like, kind of prove a point. And there was a pretty big knot that might have impressed some people that I ended up coming out Wednesday night. But, uh, like I said, my, my medications are almost out. I, uh, the dosage was upped by five milligrams, so I, like, before I was done with the, uh, the previous, uh, vial of it, so I've still got some of the 20s Still, those haven't gone to the sheriff's station for the uh, medication return yet, but then what happens is, um, but still, it's, it's really stressing me out, and hopefully, uh, this time it is, oh god, it's quarter to five in the a.m. hours, so, um, hopefully I don't oversleep, but hopefully this also gets all sorted out today, and I don't have to go down to the 20s for however long until this all gets sorted out. But, so, even though there was nothing spiritual connected to the, uh, the, the Dread project, I just ended up combing out all of my hair because I am not allowed to cut it. <laughs> but, I can comb it.
And I noticed when Isaac was living here, I would just compulsively brush my hair at some point, just, you know, as just kind of a self-soothing thing. And God, uh, this happens a lot with my hair. See, that's the thing. That's this weird thing about straight hair is, ah, uh, you know, it actually does tangle much more easily than curly hair. And that sounds counterintuitive, but, um, but when you think about it, it's not, so you, uh, so I don't remember if I, if, um, I explained in one of the previous videos that the, um, that the follicle on straight hair is actually, like, almost perfectly round, um, my hair is at a 1B straightness, so it is almost perfectly straight. That would be 1A hair would be perfectly straight. Mine is 1B, so it's got a bit of a body wave to it, you know, after a certain length. Like, you can see sort of a, you know, crisp sort of bump about mid-length, but, uh... But, you know, it is otherwise generally very straight. Uh, so on straight hair, the, uh, the follicle is actually, like, nearly perfectly round. On, um, curly hair, it gets, uh, it gets flatter and flatter, and on that, you know, um, that, uh, that texture, um, associated with the African diaspora, the, uh, that, uh, that, that kinky hair, that is, like, near perfectly flat. And when you think about it, so you see the, uh, the earbuds and <clears throat> the USB cords and all that, and, uh, the flatter they are, um, except for the kind that are, um, that have the little weaving around them, uh, those are often sold as non-tangle, but that's because of the way that the, um, that's because of the way that the weaving, uh, won't, you know, it just, it makes it a lot sturdier, so it's much harder to tangle, but I've got a couple pairs of earbuds right now that have that near-perfectly flat um, cable on them, and that is sold as a non-tangling cable, so... And the same principle applies uh, between, um, what's it called, um, hair and the, uh, the cable for your earbuds. So, um, this would be the clobetazole for my psoriasis. And I think I need to refill this very soon. But yeah, Wednesday, I just, I was, I spent a good two hours on the phone just trying to figure shit out and why this hadn't been refilled yet. Because while I did only see her on Monday, uh, I was given a, um, a refill. Uh... Haitian black castor oil. Um, so yeah, I saw Dr. Anna, my, uh, my psychiatrist. I saw her on Monday, and uh, it was the order was put in on Tuesday to refill, and it, so it should have been done Wednesday morning, and it was not, and I spent two hours on the phone with Medicare people, and... It just... Ah. Uh, uh, and that is where the stress was coming from. So, the fact that there were some people hurling abuse at me in the comments, that was actually... Ah. Uh, I had somewhere to direct it, but once it came to a slower bit of a crawl, then I just started stressing the fuck out over my meds. So, ah... Uh, I don't know, I might upload this before I get into bed. 
and I've been talking like near non-stop through this and so yeah I just wanted to uh, just give an update I don't know if I will try this stupid little point I'm trying to prove to um, other white people <laughs> uh, later this year or what but um, but yeah, I'm taking a moratorium on the project for the moment because I just, I don't know, I've just had a lot of stress. And it's all been my meds. It's all been my meds. Like I said, I, ah, uh, the thing with the, um, the package, that got sorted out and it's, and it's wonderful. And, you know, I was, I was kind of pissy for a day and, <laughs> and then I was entertained by, you know, Stan Stansons all over the... <laughs> You know, busting up their, you know, busting capillaries in my comment section. That's, that's, ah, uh, I'm a loudmouth with internet access, and I've been putting up with this shit since the days of Usenet, so, I'm, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm more entertained than not, you know, it's like one of those things, at some point, you just, you just learn that, At, at some point, I just figured, you know, I'm better than some of, you know, than a lot of these people, and I don't say that to be pretentious. I say that because for somebody who needs about a dozen medications <laughs> during the day to function um, and is physically handicapped and you know, due to low vision and spinal curvature and <laughs> all of that, I, you know, I kind of have my shit together. I kind of have my shit together. And, and it's just so funny to me. It's just so funny to me that I can manage to keep my cool about so many things that would probably have really bothered myself when I was... 18, 19 years old, and just seeing how much I've grown and matured over this whole 20-some years on the internet, it's, I don't know, it, it tickles me sometimes, and, uh, oh, where did I get this t-shirt? I think it was, I think this is a T-Villain one. I don't know if they still have this design, but it's beautiful, and, you know, gotta give tribute to the fact that I was a teenage goth in the in the mid nineteen nineties, and so you know th these this is this is your triple goddess, right? <laughs> so uh, uh, I I brush my teeth after I get out of the shower in the mornings, and uh, at night I I do the I do the mouthwash. Just I don't know. Just, uh, I get it done, right? Well, bats and kisses, sweethearts. And take care of yourselves, and I love you all so much, and goodbye.